Hello everybody and welcome back to another Code Dragon video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can communicate with different people by making an app on Code.org. Along the video, I'm even going to show you how to add a password recognition feature on your app. So let's get started. I'm going to drag a label and increase its size. I'm going to name it, enter your password. Okay, now we're going to increase its size so that the user doesn't forget to read it. Now I'm going to get a text input for them to enter their password. And now I just need a button. So this is where I'm going to be showing you guys how to add the password recognition feature. It's just three simple lines of code. I go to code and get an on event block. And then I get an on event button four clicked. Then I go to controls and get an if block. Then I go to math and get a equals operator. Go to UI controls and get a get text block. So now it's gonna get text from text input four. And if it's equal to one one zero one, then I have to go to design, add a new screen. Now go to code and set screen to screen three. So now the main point is on event button four click, which is the submit button. If the get text from text input four is equal to one one zero one, it's going to set the screen to screen three. Let's test it. Run. 1100. This is wrong, but let's see if it accepts it. It's not accepting it. So now if I make it 1101, I'm on screen 3. So this is the simple three lines of code to make your password recognition feature. So I'm going to go design screen 3 and get back to you guys. So now I'm done with designing screen 3. So you can see there's only one text input and a logout button. So I did that because I'm going to explain this to you by having one account where I'm going to send the message and there's a logout button so I can log out and see if the message was sent. And now I'm going to get create another account from which I'm going to send the message. Okay. So now there's a text input here called text input five. But first let's code the logout button. So now on event button five clicked set screen to screen one. Go to code. Get an on event block on event button five click we go up set screen the screen one okay and now let's work on another on another account I go to control and I get an if block again but this time I'm going to change the password I'm going to go to math get an equal operator then I'm going to get get text block and a set screen block. Get text from text input four is equal to one, two, three, four. Set screen to screen two. Okay, so now I'm going to start designing screen two and I'll get back to you guys once again after designing it. So now I have finished designing screen two and as you guys can see there are two buttons. One is log out and the other one is send. So this is really simple code. But first I'm just going to design or code the log out button and then I'm going to get back to you guys and tell you how to code the send button. So on event button seven clicked. Set screen to screen one. Yep. So now when this button is clicked on event button six clicked then we should get text first we're going to set a text in the text input in the other account so a text input in the other account is we're going to design and we see it's text input five so now we have a set text we get a get text over here and we put it over here 
So now it's going to set text in text input 5, but it's going to get the text from text input 6. Now let's test it. Run. My password is 1, 2, 3, 4. So now I'm just going to send the message. Um, hello. Okay, now I'm going to send it. I'm going to log out and I'm going to log into the other account. See, submit. And the message is over there. So guys, in this video, I taught you how to make communications between another person and you and how to make a password recognition feature in your app. So please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.